Hello, it's Helder here, and today I'm going to be talking to you a little bit more about this pool ionizer that I've been using for the last three years. If you haven't seen my initial reviews on the pool ionizer by Algigon, definitely take a look at it and you'll see it linked up here in the top right. So this year I did something a little bit different. I left my pool uncovered throughout the whole season or throughout the fall and the winter. Normally I cover it up, but since I do make a lot of videos and it's kind of part of my job, I like utilizing my backyard. And when I had the pool covered, it just really didn't look good, whether it was in pictures or whether it was every day coming out here and trying to enjoy a little bit more of a private space in my home. By using this Algigon pool ionizer over the last three years, it's drastically cut down, not only on the maintenance that I have to do, but also the amount of expenditures. So let's get into a bit more detail on the process that I utilized this year. I went ahead and began winterizing the pool and there was actually snow flurries coming down at that point. So I know it was now or never. Went ahead and blew out the lines, did what I needed to do and got the pool winterized. But once again, leaving the cover off, which was a first for me. So as we went through the fall and winter months, my pool remained clear, uh, even with snow on the ground and all sorts of things, I'm sure going into the pool, it still remained algae free as well as clear, which was something that wasn't happening before, even when I covered it. Whenever I would uncover that pool or even just peek into the cover uh, midway through, let's say, winterization, I'd already see all that algae build up and uh, certainly couldn't see the bottom of my pool. So by leaving the cover off this year and pretty much having the levels uh, where they needed to be, and as I mentioned, my uh, copper reading was a little bit higher than it should be, but I was just like, you know what? Hopefully that'll last me through the winter and not have issues that I've had in the past. So as we went through these months, the pool remained clear. So I went ahead and went through the whole winter, snow, the whole nine yards, and my water, and the pool remained very clear. So we'll fast forward a bit, April came up, end of April was coming up, and I decided to say, okay, well, the weather's clearing up, let's get the pool open, because the water's looking pretty clear, and I just kind of wanted to vacuum out because there was a bunch of dirt and some leaves that settled on the bottom. I did utilize my skimmer just uh, every once in a while during the winter when I'd see those leaves really building up in the corners, I'd go ahead and dump them out but uh, nothing crazy. There was still a bunch of dirt and leaves left in there. I was just trying to keep it to a minimum. So it was now time to open up the pool and my usual process is going to the pool store, spending hundreds of dollars and coming back to be able to shock the pool and do all the things that were necessary that I was told by my initial pool guy that I needed to do and kind of stuck to that. But now I want to do things a little bit differently. First thing I did is went ahead and I vacuumed to waste and got all the stuff that was on the bottom out of there, just a few leaves and some dirt, and got that all vacuumed out of the pool. Once that was done, went ahead and turned the filter on just to see where we would get with this and to see uh, what am I actually gonna need before I actually even take this first reading or to see where the levels and the, uh, the chemical levels were as far as my pool. Well, once it was vacuumed out and I took a look inside and I went ahead and got my little tester kit, tested it in there, and noticed that I still had some chlorine in there, uh, everything else was relatively low and very expected. But at the same time, I'm not used to even having a chlorine level. I'm not used to the pool even being clear at this point. And I'm used to dumping a bunch of chemicals in there, which is really throwing money down the toilet and just waiting those few days and hoping that uh, the gods that be make my pool ready for that Memorial Day barbecue, correct? Well, I'm happy to say that this year I got that jump start on it. And when I went to take these readings, as I said, I already had a chlorine level. So what did I do? I said, well, instead of buying all this liquid chlorine and spending all this money on all of this stuff, I still had a bunch of those chlorine pucks or the stabilizers that you put into the skimmer. And I said, you know what? Let me just throw a few in there because since I already have a chlorine reading, maybe this will be enough since it's not sunny yet or it wasn't as sunny as it is now uh, a couple weeks later. I'm gonna go ahead and throw these pucks in there, let the filter run for the day and see what happens. Well, the beautiful thing was that I ended up hitting that exact chlorine level that I was looking for. pH is still a little bit low, but that's okay. We got some baking soda on the way and baking soda is pretty cheap. And I'll throw that in there to get us, get it where it needs to be. So what I really do owe to all of this and this ease is the Algigon pool ionizer. 
because before this, none of this was possible. I was spending a heck of a lot more money on things, such as chemicals, and let's not forget time, right? Sitting there with the frustration, now the pool level is shocked and it's through the roof, so I can't go in there. I'm worried about my dogs going near the pool and taking a sip of the pool. I'm worried about people going in. I can't go into the pool yet to do the rest of the maintenance. And guess what? This year, everything changed. And it was all because of that little experiment that I really didn't think was gonna work. But I said, what do I have to lose? Worst case, I'm just gonna have to do what I did all these other years. This is the third video that I'm making on this pool ionizer. And it is three years later. And I just wanna share this information with you. Because when you look at this thing, especially when you're going with the algae gone, it's not cheap, but it's still so much more inexpensive than the other chemicals that I was throwing in there and getting it to the level that I needed to be for the pool to be at. And then guess what? Another month later, there'll be some kind of algae bloom or this or that that was still happening where I'd have to do it all over again and dump all of this money. But it's all about the time and the enjoyment. Right? Like I said, the season's pretty short here in Jersey. You know, we're getting a couple months uh, where the pool actually isn't cold and uh, you know, you're good to go to be able to enjoy it. So every minute that I detract from those two months just makes having a pool almost not worth it. Right? And then just the whole feeling of having people over that want to come enjoy your pool and they're all excited and then they come and you're like, nah, you know what, the level's too high. Or oh, sorry, that's a little green. Or oh, sorry, that's a little crowded, uh, cloudy. And you're making all these excuses up because uh, you're almost apologizing to your friend saying, Laura, look, I, I tried, but I really didn't get it happening and I didn't get it done. Well, if you want to avoid all that, get yourself one of these algae gone pool ionizers. And uh, if you just follow what they tell you to do, and even just if you look at the last three videos that I've made over the years explaining what I do, which is obviously no scientific terms because I'm just another homeowner dude with a pool, uh, probably just like you. And give it a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised, just like I have been for the last three years.